Good morning and welcome to all. Uh, Dr. Bharat, you can start with the introduction. <clears throat> Dr. Bharat? Yes, sir. Very good morning to all, sir. And uh, it's my privilege to introduce uh, Professor Ramesh Suryamsi to uh, this uh, 21 days program, sir. I'm very thankful to Nimi Patra for giving me an opportunity. Sir, uh, Professor uh, Ramesh Suryamsi, sir, is an uh, uh, ICR Emeritus Professor and uh, he has a, a PhD for ICS in Sweden, Diplomat ICVP, and he's an eminent veterinary pathologist of ICR, Indian Veterinary uh, Research Institute, Izzat Nagar Bareli. And he's also a founder of National Museum of uh, Veterinary Sciences at IVRI. And uh, Sir was uh, superintendent from ICR services on uh, 30th June 2015. And uh, he has also served as ICR Emeritus Professor, ICR Acting Joint Director, CADRD, Pathology and National Fellow of ICR at ICR IVRI Bareilly, and uh, yes, also served as a President Indian Association of Veterinary Pathologists for uh, two terms, and uh, former uh, Upadhyaksha of uh, Sansthan uh, Ragbasa of uh, Karnavasa Samiti of Institute. Dr. Suryamshi was uh, 1953 after completing his uh, BBSc degree in uh, Mathura in 1974. He has come to IVRI for MBSc as a student in 1974. And uh, Sir has also served as an SRA at uh, College of Veterinary Sciences in Pantnagar from uh, during 1976-77. Uh, he, he was selected as an uh, Agriculture Research Scientist and joined IVRI as a Scientist S1 on uh, 1977 again. And he has served as a Scientist too, uh, as a, a Senior Grade Scientist at uh, IVRI Mukteshwar from uh, 1984 to 1994. Sir has worked as uh, uh, post graduation under uh, eminent uh, scientists like uh, Dr. Uh, Professor P. K. R. Iyer, and also he has done under uh, under Dr. G. C. Mohanty for his doctoral degree. He was deputed for Sweden in 1988 for FRCS and traveled to many Scan Scandinavian countries. He was selected as a national fellow in 1994 and worked on amateur for 10 years. Under C. S. He was promoted as a principal scientist. And he was selected as a head of division pathology and served on this post during 2007 to 2012, at least for five, five and a half years. And uh, sir, as a vast uh, research uh, field for at least four decades, he has uh, worked under this disease investigation and postgraduate te uh, teaching experience in veterinary pathology. Dr. Ramesh Viromsi has significantly contributed in the advancements of pathogenesis, pathology and disease diagnosis of cattle, pashmina goats and uh, many laboratory animals. He has also conducted a research on bovine harm cancer, bovine papillomatosis, enzootic bovine hematuria, infectious bustle diseases, aflatoxin inter uh, interactions, bone toxicity in laboratory animals and hill cattle. In research, he has used many advanced techniques like TEM, CEM, FACS, immunohistochemistry, HPLC, real-time PCR, etc. Sir is also well-versed in the clinical pathology, necropsy techniques, histopathology, and ultrasonographical interpretations. Till now, till date, he has uh, uh, guided 10 MBSc students, 7 PhD students, and uh, he has published more than 244 research papers, which includes 36 international uh, art, uh, papers and 246 semi-technical and popular articles, 177 abstracts and uh, 42 scientific books, including biography and travel experiences also. He has 42 win bank submissions. He has organized more than 12 seminars, national seminars, symposia, workshops and training programs, including ICR short course and winter schools. He has been awarded two dozens of national awards, including DST Dr. Meghnan Saha Award thrice, ICR Dr. Rajendra Prasad Award twice, and ICR Merit Awards, UPST Vignan Ratna Award, IAVFP Dr. NC Jain Lifetime Life Achievement Award, IVRI Deemed University Best Teacher Award, and fellowships of five national scientific societies, including IAVAP. Dr. Suryam Shisar is a founder secretary of Dr. C.M. Singh Endowment Trust, Bareilly. He is a diplomat and ex-registrar, ICVP and a life member of IAVP. 
since this foundation dr suryavanshi has special interest in history of veterinary sciences and hindi writing and a key person in translation of icer handbooks of animal husbandry and published two special issues of rajya sabha samika on 100 and 125 years of ivra he has professionally traveled to sweden norway finland denmark uk usa and canada as head of division of pathology has modernized the division of pathology and strengthened post graduate teaching and research by obtaining extra mural research fundings as an joint director cadrd for 9 months he has given dynamism to his activities center of animal disease research and diagnosis before superannuation his work was on cancer biomarkers in cutaneous and mucosal bpv associated tumors and establishment of national museum of veterinary and animal sciences at ivri his contribution in institute building activities especially in relation to the promotion of rajabhasha hindi are well known and highly appreciated He is a founder of museum at IVRI. Under his dynamic presidentship, IVRI achieved significant and advancement. He is still an active scientific activities of IVRI and Dr. C M Singh Environment Trust, Baran UP. So this is uh, this was just a, a brief introduction about Dr. Uh, Ramesh Suryam sir. I I'll welcome you to this uh, guest of uh, Anand sir. Thank you sir. So thank, thank you, Dr. Bharat. now we have got uh, professor ramesh somongsi sir so he is a very learned person and, and a wise person and we are eagerly waiting sir for your kind uh, speech before us sir thank you sir okay so um, uh, can you see my presentation yes sir it is okay sir so before i start uh, my lecture on uh, history of veterinary pathology of india uh, i wish to thank uh, nadcl especially Ms. mr nisar and bharat ji and also to dr patra uh, for inviting me in this program and i am given an uh, opportunity to speak on the history of veterinary pathology before i i start just i wish to mention i am very happy this in this lecture series i could see my uh, one student dr sushita rajkumar and also one student dr regan from northeast and uh, dharnesh he was also one of his student at ivri and then rohit so these are some uh, few persons who are in personally known to me i am very happy and i also i am very happy to see others also whom i don't know but maybe after this lecture we will know each other uh, i was told that in this program there are about uh, uh, 60 to 70 percent are the pathology and rest are from the other disciplines so this always happen if you are having a mixed group it is always good so dear friends i am going to talk about history of veterinary pathology so all the time you will be finding especially for whom those are who are not pathologists appreciation for pathology pathologists so don't take it otherwise uh, what i can suggest you can also think to develop history part of your discipline suppose if you belong to other subject other than pathology you can think how you can develop history of your discipline because this is one subject which is uh, very much neglected so my lecture actually it is it is in it is in uh, two two parts so and uh, i will tell uh, uh, what i am going to speak in this lecture so introduction then about the historical background of the subject then i will be talking in more detail about the history of division of pathology ivri because actually most of the things they are evolved from the ivri or there are some other places too then i will be briefly mentioning about the history of departments of pathology in veterinary colleges or veterinary university so i will mention about some uh, this uh, model departments also whom 
I I believe that from there something good has come. Then after that, uh, I'll be talking about the history of IAVP, ICP, and some other associations. Then briefly, I will mention about the uh, about tell about the introduce you about eminent Indian veterinary pathologies. Then some miscellaneous information, and finally summary and conclusion. So my uh, this lecture it is divided in two parts, and uh, so now I start with my lecture. So actually about concept of diseases in ancient India, uh, you can read all this whatsoever written. Actually ancient Indians they believe the the diseases are four types exogenous, endogenous, psychic, natural, and then they were classified in seven categories. So different these categories, they are pre-conceptional and hereditary factors, post-conceptional factors, mutilation of humors, contagious, seasonal, natural forces, and nature of the body. So this was actually theory which was given uh, for uh, during the 400 BC period by in the Susrup San Sangita. Uh, so this is about that one. Then now question is, what is pathology? I think you all are, most of the people are pathology. So I need not to tell what is pathology. You know that in pathology, we study etiology or cause of the disease, then some clinical symptoms, clinical pathology, gross pathology, microscopic pathology, then we diagnose the disease. We try to make comparative diagnosis. And finally, we try to suggest the preventive measure. So this is the pathology. But in scientific language, we can say it is the medical or veterinary science specialty practice concerned with all aspects of disease, but with special reference to essential nature, causes, and development of abnormal condition as well as the structural and functional changes that result from the disease process. So this is the definition given by Gavin and Jachery. So then the pathologies, they know what are the different branches in pathology. Number, mostly we study general systemic special pathology, also experimental pathology, clinical pathology, we undergo through postmortem courses, then microscopic, toxicopathology, poultry pathology, oncology, nutritional, ultrastructural pathology, cytopathology, immunopathology, like there are many, many branches in the pathology. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, this was about the introductory part of my lecture. Now I come in the second part of my lecture. Actually, before we go on the other aspects of the history of pathology, one must aware must be aware about the contributions made by the Britishers uh, in India. And uh, uh, Dr. Bharat and Dr. Patra were mentioning about the, that we were instrumental in establishing the veterinary, pathology, veterinary science museum at IVRI. Sometime if you get an opportunity, at least you can see all these things in great detail. We have displayed everything. So one person was the J.H.B. Holland. So he was the first civil principal veterinary surgeon of India, and he was appointed as chairman of Indian Cattle Plague Commission. And he gave very good recommendation and all other things. So he worked on the diseases of those days, Barsati, Lycanthropics, Anthrax, Worm Infestation, and Paraplegia. These were the diseases which were studied those days. And on his recommendation, Imperial Bacology Lab at Mukteswar and veterinary schools were established in India. And he authored a number of uh, books including report of Indian cattle plague, cattle plagues, then cattle plague history, manual of more deadly forms of the cattle disease in India, and some diseases of cattle India. 
especially this report of cattle plague cattle plague uh, commission and this manual uh, this is manual of more deadly these book two books at least they are available in ibri one can see some then i am very much impressed with another person that is william moorcroft so william moorcroft he was a english veterinarian an explorer who was employed by east india company as superintendent of equine breeding stud at pusa bihar he was actually a med medical man medical person medical doctor but on advice of john hunter he, he decided to undertake this veterinary education at uh, in france he was the first mrc was who visited india and he worked on the diagnosed barsati glanders parasitic aneurysm and he the person who introduced cultivation of oat in india then he authored a small book that is uh, navicular diseases of horses actually he extensively traveled to himalayas tibet central asia and finally he reached uh, bukhara uzbekistan <laughs> भूटिया हॉर्सेस एंड पशमीना गोड्स सो हिज हिज स्टोरी इज वेरी मच इंटरेस्टिंग स्पेशली the persons who are related with kolkata because he initially he came to kolkata and then from kolkata he traveled to pusa on palki this is a book uh, this beyond bukhara and i love this book if i suggest all the trainees in this group please buy this book it is costing around 1000 rupees or so and read a, read this book so you will know veterinary science during those days in india then and there was another person his name was griffith evans this person he was posted at dera ismail khan in pakistan and he discovered the first pathogenic trypnosoma or trypnosoma evansi which was actually not accepted from a camel in the dera ismail khan and this was not accepted uh, by this medical authorities in india and they criticized this griffith evans So, but later it was his research was accepted then he was given lot of all awards honors and all these things so very good contribution of griffith so first pathogenic trypnosoma he discovered in camel in india then i think people are familiar with the robert cock he visited mukteswar in 1897 he was member of german cholera mission and with him uh, robert cock this piper and gaifikai they also visited mukteswar so they investigated on the rinder pest and finally he declared before coming to india he was in south africa also and finally he de- after experimentation he declared the disease which is known as rinder pest in south africa and cattle plague in india is one and same all the documents of robert cock what's your experiment he has done these things are available so this is the photo of robert cock and other people who stayed in india then before that actually imperial bacteriological lab was established first at uh, pune in 1889 and then it was transferred due to certain reasons in 1893 in mukteswar kumayu and dr alpal dingar he was a medical man and he was appointed first director lingard sir um this lab for uh, more than 70 years as a rishi or saint and he he did very excellent job then in mukteswar in 1914 there was a medical person jhk mac alister he was first pathology he was appointed as a first pathology in 1914 and he worked on kumri a parasitic disease so this is the image of maclister and this was the way when these animals were transmitted so now you will feel it is very ugly and they may be spreading infectious material but that was the thing at so this the mukteswar center it had three 
postmortem rooms, one at experimental research and outcrawl. So this is one postmortem room, if you can see my arrow. I worked here for more than 10 years. So this was my postmortem room and this side lab and this was incinerator. So I worked here for 10 years. So then I will tell you a little bit about first pathology lab at Bareilly. In 1901, this uh, a place in Bareilly, which is around say eight, 10 kilometers away from present Ajat Nagar location. This one center Ivory substation was established and it had two offices. This had a pathology lab with two offices, two microscope rooms and one disinfection room. And it had five experimental cattle sets of per hundred animals, one postmortem room, one carcass incineration house, one store. So this was the first pathology lab. So this description you will not get. Then another area, one thing which was revolutionized. So this was a huge cooper. He was a pathologist. He, he for the first time reported Rani Kett disease in poultry. Rani Kett disease or we say Newcastle disease. So because those days economic poultry keeping was not possible because due to Rani Kett disease, lot number of birds used to die. So, and then later, SGAN and others, they developed this Rani Kett disease vaccine in 1940. So after that only, when disease was controlled, so after that only this poultry keeping was possible, economic poultry keep, keeping was possible. So these days we are scared of this uh, avian influenza or bird flu some, since last 8, 10, 10, 15 years. So this was the same situation of Rani Kett disease those days. So this is the image of Hughes Cooper. He was pathologist. So this paper he published, Rani Kett disease, a new disease of poultry. So this is the paper. So I am having this reprint with me. So then besides at Mukteswar, there were many other people in different parts of country. So they did some pioneer work on helminthesis, deficiency disease, and malignant diopra, especially Dr. G.S. Biswal and Sayed Mahaddeen from possibly from Bangalore. And then K.P. Chandrasekharan Nair, he was professor head at Madras Veterinary College. So he reported first time identified aflatoxosis and this rubarth disease also. So you may be knowing what is the other name of rubarth disease. Then Sayyad Mohaddin from Karnataka, he worked on uh, bovine paraplegia. So Dr. Rajya in 1997 and myself in 2005. I wrote a detailed review on all these aspects. So Dr. Patra told me you in between you ask some question. So my first question is who reported Rani Kate disease in India? Alfred Lingard, Hughes Cooper, spelling mistake is there, and William Moorcroft or Colonel J.B. Holland. So just before, some two, three minutes before I told who reported Rani Kate disease in India. I think uh, uh, you are hearing my voice or, or at least Dr. Patra. Yes, Karen. sir. Your voice is clear, sir. Okay, so uh, if any reply is coming, Dr. Patra, you can keep the record. And uh, if you want, I can tell the correct reply right now or it may be later, as you wish. Otherwise, I will go in the second second part. So who say if students are, if trainees are replying, then please keep who is replying correctly. So then I go ahead. Okay. Uh, now I will be talking a little bit or more in more detail about history of division of pathology. So why I am talking because lot of development has occurred and this is a one of model division from where the people can take the inspiration, especially newer departments uh, where you want to develop or so at least you can get some inspiration. In 1931 at Muktesar section of pathology, serology and bacteriology was established. Then general disease investigation section was established at Ayatnagar. 
1945 section of pathology and bacteriology at Mukteswar was this. And here, Dr. H. Cooper, Dr. Sachiranandatta, Dr. P. G. Pandey, Dr. P. R. K. Ayer. P. R. K. Ayer, he was the father of Professor Ramchandran Ayer. Or maybe you might have heard the name of General P. R. Benkates. He was the RVC chief. So, P. R. K. Ayer was his grandson, grandfather, and P. K. R. Ayer, his father, and Benkates. So, three generations veterinarians. Then, contribution made by just before and after independence by Dr. Datta, P. G. Pandey, Dr. P. R. K. Ayer. It is reflection of their vision. So these people, they have done a good thing. Uh, before 1947 or before up to 1960, people were going UK for taking MRC USDB. And this was the one qualification which was considered IS qualification for a veterinarian. Those days, nobody was doing PhD. Or similar age, for similar education, people were coming to IVRI for associates of associates if I hear that was also one year diploma so all the old people were coming to IVRA Muktesar for associate IVC but what happened after independence after in the, uh, 1947 or 1960 people started going this uh, America when this uh, in 1960 when uh, state agriculture universities started coming then people started going to the US for MS and PhD and among them, one was Dr. C. M. Singh. He did his PhD in around 1955. So at that time, and he was in Mathura, Veterinary Pathology and Biology Department. It was bifurcated. Then he he went to Hisar and joined as this thing. Then in on 6 September 1963, Department Division of Pathology was established, and Captain S. B. V. Rao, he was a poultry pathologist. He was the founder head. Captain Rao was the founder head. That in 1974, under the chairmanship of Dr. S. Damodaran, professor of pathology at Madras Veterinary College, and 37 eminent veterinary pathologists, a meeting held and they decided to form Indian Association of Veterinary Pathology. So, this way at IVRI Ijet Nagar, Pathology Association was born. In 1976, in, uh, publication of Indian Journal of Pathology started under founder editor Professor P. K. I. R. I. R. P. K. R. I. R. He was my master MBSE supervisor. And when first issue was under uh, coming, then at that time he was my teacher. So those days he was working on this. Then in 1976, this pathology division was shifted in the modular laboratory building from present physiology and climatology division. Then in 75, poultry wing of pathology division was developed as a avian disease section. So this is the physiology division where in the ground floor, uh, pathology division was located on, on the first floor, physiology division was. <coughs> This is the modular laboratory building. When I was a MBSC student in IVRA in 1975-76, at that time construction of this building was going on. So in this building, four wings were occupied by the Division of Pathology. And foundation stone of this building was laid in 1972 by President of India, V. V. Giri. And around, say, 90, in eight, around 1980, it was, the building was opened by Agriculture Minister of India, Surjit Singh Barnalaji. Then, one thing very important because those days, uh, pathologist of IVRA, Dr. C. M. Singh, Director of IVRA, Dr. B. S. Rajya, and Dr. G. C. Mohanty, he was uh, uh, head of the Avian Disease. These, are, these people were uh, these visionary people. So, they decided to form high security animal diseases. Because Dr. Mohanty, he had a training in Plum Island. So on the high security, he worked in the FMD and other diseases. So they established. So those day people used to criticize about the high security or BSL-4 lab. They say this is a white elephant. But when bird flu outbreak occurred in 2006, then people realized the importance of high security lab. So Dr. Mohanty was the founder, he was OSD of high security animal disease. 
now it is the high security animal this is this is known as national institute of national institute of high security animal diseases bhopal so and when dr hk pradhan uh, he was uh, selected as joint director this lab was made functional and sri nitish kumar ji opened this lab so now you everybody knows the what is the importance of this high security animal disease lab so now it is separated from ivri and it is a different institute so in 1983 registry of pathology it was an oncology was started now what we say it is a pathology museum different from it, ivri museum and in 1986 qrt recommended formation of cadrad and then on the recommendation of qrt in 2010 avian disease section it was merged in division of pathology as section then in 2008 indian college of veterinary pathology was established and in 2013 division completed 50 years and under the headship of dr rajender singh this foundation day of division was celebrated every year so so my old student dr suchita or vegan they can recognize this lab so this lab was established when i was head dean and this was a tentacular microscope ten students can see this one and these were some laboratories they have developed in the division so these were different head of divisions captain rao was founder then dr radia then professor ayer dr pariyat dr chatopadhyay dr prasad dr paliwal me rajender singh after me dr k p singh officiated for some time and presently dr sai kumar is officiating so these are the head of divisions since then division of pathology it was a, a model division and it had cattle buffalo sheep goat pig equine canine and wildlife disease laboratories it also had very specific like metabolic disease clinical pathology cytopathology para tuberculosis immunopathology mycotic mycotic diseases ebs lab then we also had some service sections like registry of pathology post mortem facility central histopathology lab central photo micro units experiment animal sets conference room seminar room divisional library etc so this was the incinerator because incinerator is very important thing for disposal of the carcasses because you know that in ijat nagar Uh, adjoining to ivra is the air force station so vultures and other birds they should not be there because otherwise there is a risk of accident then avian disease section under the leadership of dr kc verma hvs chauhan dr mohanti this this was there was a time when this was one of very very good division it also had virology vaclogy metabolic histopathology avian immunology different laboratories and some very specific facilities were also there for molecular ultrastructural pathology immunohistochemistry in situ hybridization cancer biomarker so so many very good facilities were there so in the division of pathology mostly the people who were working on mycotoxicosis swine fever porcine sarcovirus jaundice disease injutic bovine meiosis fern and bpv interaction canine mammary tumors marrow disease chicken infectious anemia species by disease investigation and wildlife so these are some exter- externally funded projects in the division present days because mostly most of the scientists they are having externally funded disease so everywhere wherever in which our department you work you should have this this fund externally funded project then you flourish division of pathology it had 125 research project it had a icrp on cough mortality national fellow project an atp project on mycotoxicosis nai project on cia and bovine pathomotors nip project on agriculture stage dbt project on csf pcv scientist emeritus project icr emeritus professor and many new projects which are now our currently scientists so historical achievements are n- n- many but i will not tell everything because it will be difficult to cover my lecture but i will mention very briefly in 1971 dr mohanti ap pande bs radhya shuyas ka kuch so ni first man in atostna shuyas ko describe ibd in 
Ijet Nagar. Then Dr. M. L. Malhotra and others first time they reported IVR in IVR in cattle infectious bovine rhinotracheitis. And Dr. G. C. Mohanty, 1984, they, he identified this egg drop syndrome in poultry. So these were certain things. Otherwise, the earlier time people were working on mycoplasma, primordial diseases. Then, uh, mm. especially this uh, Vishna and Medi slow virus, it was grown in SCP cells. Then, uh, indirect portion antibody test, it was introduced for the diagnosis of paratuberculosis and preclinical cases of Johnny's disease. Biological tests were adopted for diagnosis of rabies, and then work was done on the goiter. Then diagnosis of swine fever was also confirmed, and some seed virus was also obtained. Then Professor Ayer, he developed one technique, modified periodic acid chief reagents, and he was able to diagnose uh, reduce the period from four days to four hours. Then ultrastructure of Johnny's disease and horn cancer were studied for the first time. So I was associated with the ultrastructure of horn cancer. Then I did detailed work on the EBH and testicloside estimation from Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, canine tumor immunohistochemistry and experimental carcinogenesis studies were done. Then molecular techniques were used for diagnosis of classical fungus and PWMS under DBT project by Dr. Sai Kumar. Then PCV2, Dr. Sai Kumar investigated this. Besides this, ex very ex excellent contributions were made in the wildlife, canine, and poultry disease diagnosis, and ample revenue was generated. Division was pathology. It organized a number of seminars, symposiums. So this keeps people very active. And one seminar, which was FOCDA International Seminar, it was one which I remember always. I can still consider this was one of the best activity. So this is brief, some brief detail of this seminar, 21 days program, where Ghost of Inquist and C. Ravinder, he, they came from Uppsala, Sweden. Dr. Rajya was co-organizer. So in this, people uh, from India like Dr. S.K. Jain from Jabalpur, B.C. Nayak from Unes or Jain Devidi from Matra, Jankia, they attended. So it was one of the really very good program. And after this, 50 Indians attended nine months FOCDA uh, postgraduate diploma or FRCVS at Uppsala, Sweden, Stockholm or Sweden. And... Uh, I attended this program in 1988, and Dr. Sood was the last person, Dr. N.K. Sood from Ludhiana. He attended this program in possibly in 90. After that, this program is closed. So this is the group photo of my, which I attended this program. So this is my image here. From Division of Pathology, it has 10, 15 people got this FAO, FAO fellowship. So, then division produced more than 65 PhD thesis, 135 MBSC this thesis. So, and uh, under Tom Beat project, people went to Japan, UK, PhD scholars, they got four PhD scholars, got Jawaharlal Nehru award. award. Number of students from division went USA, Canada, France, Germany, UK, and four faculty members, they received this thing. Besides this, there are other awards, so I'm not going to talk more, just I will quickly pass. Then, besides uh, Division of Pathology, uh, CADRAD, CADRAD was established in 1986, and Disease Investigation Wing, actually it formed CADRAD. Dr. Aras Chahan is the one pathologist, he was selected. Then, uh, besides him, Dr. Parihar, Dr. B.S. Rakhor, Dr. P. Devedi, myself, Dr. K. P. Singh. We also officiate as joint director at It is actually central disease diagnostic laboratory uh, recognized by DHDF. So division of pathology is supporting CADRAD for animal disease diagnosis. You can see this is the COVID team of CADRAD. And when we had this uh, first wave of COVID, so all the diagnostic work was done, for, but now they are busy in some other things. 
So these are the Dr. Pariyar, Dr. Rathor, Dr. P. Devedi, Dr. Chauhan, me, and Dr. K. P. C. So now this is time for the second MCQ. Who was founder head division of pathology at IVRI? Who was founder of founder head division of pathology at IVRI? So this is the question. So just before I told who was the founder of this division of pathology. So are you hearing me? Dr. Patra? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Hope I am not boring too much. It is okay, sir. Yeah. So now I will talk a little bit about certain other two model departments. And one model department for me is the Department of Veterinary Pathology at Chennai. So maybe people from uh, South India may be happy to see the. So here, Dr. Damodaran was eminent professor. So 1969 MSc program started, 83 doctoral program started. So they have dealt so many research projects. So Duval disease, Pollet disease, Dagzecti, Caprine pleuronemonia. Hypertrophic gastritis in horses, inclusion body hepatitis in poultry, were for the first time recognized from Department of Pathology. This thing, and this department it was led by Dr. V. Krishnamurti, K. P. C. Nair, Dr. S. Damodaran, Dr. A. Sundara, Dr. V. Murli Manohar, and uh, most very recently by Dr. Balachandran. And these people, they historically contributed. This is one place, one department which I have observed. People work very sincerely. Very work. People work very seriously. And uh, you may be aware of Dr. Balachandran. He was very active in our IAVP, ICVP. And he was the uh, pathologist who was appointed as vice chancellor. So I think now his tenure is complete. So. He, he has contributed very significantly to this thing. And Dr. Damodaran, he was responsible for uh, foundation of Indian Association of Veterinary Pathologists. So Department of Pathology, last one, they are uh, engaged since last 100 years. They are known for high quality teaching. They are engaged in poultry, canine, laboratory animal, and wild animal research. So they import high standards of UG, PG, and doctoral teaching. I will not read everything. Tell. So they are having very excellent diagnostic services, just like postmortem service. Say annually more than 800 necropsies are done. They provide expert diagnosis of rabies. They also do this surgical pathology service and more than 5,000 specimens they are received every year. So they do very good UG teaching, PG teaching, more than 104 MBSC and 27 PhD. They have been produced from 1956 to 79. So the postgraduate and doctoral programs are designed to prepare Comparatively, selective, uh, selective veterinarians for career in veterinary diagnostic pathology in industry or to provide a foundation for entering a career in the pharmaceutical research. So postgraduate diploma courses are also con con conducted and they are having very good museum and they have done excellent work in the cytopathology, especially this is the specialization of Dr. Bala Chandran. So they are having very good number of top class, very high class instruments. They do, and they are having good, a sufficient facet, uh, this uh, faculty also. So very good. So they had uh, uh, 11 uh, research projects completed, six conferences conducted, and workshop training conducted 11, and externship training conducted three. 
so they also help farmers for various purposes they do necropsy in very nice way so besides this uh, department of pathology at tamil nadu uh, this is another department which i consider as a model department that is department of veterinary pathology at gadwasu so they are having icr accreditation in 2004 and department of veterinary pathology it was established in 1969 so they follow this vci standards so their mission is to investigate clinical pathology of animal disease they are very good in clinical pathology you might have heard dr sul's lecture and lectures of others maybe i think in this training also he is going to talk so goal is department has set goals of importing best teaching in the veterinary pathology so they are having all this ug pg and phd academic programs and different credit hour courses and they have bagged rafi ahmed ke dwai jl jl beger nc jain award very good award best teacher award dot fellowship fr cbs this thing so they are having very good good achievements so they are having very excellent facilities and their thrust areas are in clinical pathology immunopathology poultry diseases rabies oncology toxicopathology diseases of wild animals and aquatic animals and they work on the diseases like marex newcastle thyroiditis sodium chloride toxicity avian adenovirus hydropericardium mycoplasmosis glomerular nephritis cardiovascular diseases and rabies so like that they are coughed also with this center for advanced faculty training in veterinary pathology coughed also so they are attend and conducting this 21 days training program because this is very essential for pathologists for career advancements true training are essential so people from ludhiana they have published Uh, number of books in the veterinary pathology it is listed here they have published several manuals also so besides that uh, there are other departments also but i am not going to talk because i know that i am running short of time so bombay veterinary college very good contribution by dr janki and dr prohit and others so you can uh, take my write up from write up you will get all the information then karnataka veterinary uh, department of veterinary pathology uh, of kwasku so this department is also actually a, one of the pillar in the indian association of veterinary pathology first pathology conference was organized by department of uh, veterinary college havel bangalore and very recently this havel bangalore they organized the asian veterinary pathology congress and uh, they are having very good and uh, Dr. H. D. Narayan Swami is the professor of pathology, who is present. He is the vice chancellor of this thing, this department. Then, Tirupati, known for you, many people they have read this pathology book written by Dr. Ganti S. Sastri, and, and then Professor Dr. P. Ramara. Uh, he was also professor and I. A. V. P. Having award on this, he was the actually phd student at ivri when i was doing mbsc so they are having very good pathology museum and on average 5000 tissues per per year they see for histopathology and dr sri latha she organized this veterinary pathology congress presently dr a anand kumar he is the professor at so they are contributing very significantly they have organized two three times pathology conferences journal congress and then loa hisar very good department uh, sorry yeah manuthi in this department there was a time when dr m k nayar he was a professor head and dean and dr rajan professor so they were very active in this indian association of veterinary pathologists and this was first center of excellence in veterinary pathology in 1987 then center of advanced studies in pathology so one of the best place for pathology in this thing 
So they they did ex excellent work in the ethmoidal carcinoma diagnosis of rabies, and Dr. Nair was expert in electron microscopic study. He did PhD from the Sala Sweden on ultrastructure thing. Then Luas Isar, Dr. C M Singh, he was the dean here, and he also he was professor head of the department. Dr. Kalla, Dr. Pal Gupta, Karule, Sadana, Pruthi. Jakar, R.P. Gupta, they were professor heads and they uh, served like anything. So this department, besides this, this disease investigation unit is also very strong here. And they, they, these DI labs, they are in different places. And they very actively contributed, significantly contributed in Dagnala disease, horn cancer, brucellosis, pneumonia, mycotic disease, aflatoxicosis. Then Palampur, Dr. S.P. Singh was the first professor at present day, Dr. Gupta. His professor had, they have worked very nicely on the diseases of Angora rabbits, broiler rabbits. Dr. Gupta, he was very active in IABP, he is very active president of IJBP now. And they have contributed very significantly. So beside this, now Bengal Veterinary College, I must mention. So, in 1951, Dr. A.L. Mukhopadhyay was the professor head, then Dr. M.S. Das and Dr. S. N. Nandi, he, they joined as a professor. Dr. Nandi he did excellent work on the injutic bone hematuria and published papers in the British Veterinary Journal. And after him, Dr. T.L. Soam, Dr. S. Dev, Dr. Basak, who died recently, Dr. Pratima Dev, and Dr. Bhoming, and Dr. S. K. Mukhopadhyay, they were professor head of this department. And uh, in 1988, first PhD degree in veterinary pathology was awarded. And uh, so like that, they have produced 118 MBSC and 19 PhD degrees in veterinary pathology. So besides this, there are many, the many other places, uh, but I can't give this, uh, Details of every and every department. And Jammu also, there is one veterinary college, good department, Srinagar also, and many other places. But time is not permitting to this thing. So my the next question is, Rubar disease was first time reported in India from which place? Bombay Veterinary College, IVRI Mukteswar, Veterinary College, Bangalore, or Madras Veterinary College. So this is, so by this I complete my first part of lecture. So Dr. Patra, can you hear me? Yes, sir. So now what, what we should do? Second, uh, shall I start second? Sir, you may continue, sir, no problem. Okay. So. I have to upload second part of my lecture. Okay, sir. So how to do? Just please guide me. This I have to discontinue first. Okay, sir. Stop presenting, eh? Hmm. Now I will go for a second. Just first I will open, then. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what uh, the issue is the presentation? I. It's not starting again. No, it's starting. Starting. Can you click on the share button at the bottom? You know, I'm doing that. Okay. Share button at the bottom. Present now at the bottom and choose entire screen. Yeah. Can I take one minute break? No, sure, sure. No problem. Oh, just only one minute break. I'm old okay. man. No, sir, working as young. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. 
Just one minute break, please. So participant, I think you are enjoying a lot. And we solicit your kind cooperation and interaction with our resource person. So please be with us. And, and another one thing I am looking that there are only 40 numbers of participants, which is nearly 50% of our total attendee. So kindly give the information to others or contact others or give the message to others that if there is no participation at all or 50% remains, that also be reflected on your completion certificate. Okay. This is the decision of our, uh, this is going to be decided by our organizing committee. So please bear with us and have with us and enjoy the lectures. Okay. So please, please cooperate and enjoy the uh, lectures. Okay. And another one thing I want to say, do not treat yourself as a, at present, not as teacher. So better you treat yourself as to student and learn a lot from our learned resource person. Okay, sir, you all are learned person and all are teachers. So please join with us and be with us. This is my humble request to all. Okay, now we can start. Okay, sir. I hope I am not boring too much. No, sir. It, it is very informative, sir. And I, I think each college is involved. Excuse me? Each college have their own history and that you are trying to speak before them, sir. Very yeah, nice. Uh, actually, since last more than ten, I already had this type of lecture with me. But I was just trying to update since last more than 10 days. So, so that it, it should improve. So now I can share. Yes, sir. Sir, can you click on the present now at the bottom? Yeah. Hide. No, present now at the bottom. There would be an option present now next to the hand icon. Can you see now? Not yet. Present now, click on entire screen. Then a small screen will be shown in the middle. Click on it, then share. Present now. So now you can see. Yes, yes, it's starting. And now we can go to the slideshow. Okay. Visible, visible. So we have already covered uh, up to four numbers. So now this two. So now I will be talking a little bit about or more detail about the history of Indian Association of Veterinary Pathologists and Indian College of Veterinary Pathologists and certain other associations. So I have already told this association is having around say 1500 life members. I have already talked about uh, it was established in IVRI in 74 under the leadership of Dr. Damudran. So, and motto of this association was to contribute and coordinate because initial days contribution and coordination was very important. 
and uh, in 1976 journal started then conferences started then people started meeting each other knowing each other so this was the thing which was done so this is summary page of our association so in 74 association was established then the there we had a membership drive and it was registered and main objective was the advancement and dissemination of knowledge in veterinary pathology journal started publishing in 1976 first national conference held in bangalore i attended this conference after that it became a regular feature and this year in 19 this year in december we are going to have 38th pathology conference at bikaner under the leadership of Dr. Hemant Dadhij, which has been announced very recently. And this association, it has awarded fellowships to 58 people so far, including one. This was the old IAVP logo, Dr. Damodaran president, Dr. Rajya was the second president. And this was the first issue of journal and this was the special issue which brought under my presidency professor ayer he died two three years back so we brought his image on the cover page this is the uh, newsletter legion which was founded by dr bn Party. and this is the one two years back issue of legion presently i am editor so so this is in brief about uh, this thing so this is the list of presidents of IABP, Dr. Damodaran Rajya Balman Singh from Ludhiana, Rajya M. K. Nair from Kedla, Monti, Dr. Monti from Ida, Dr. Vegar from Jabalpur, Dr. Gowda from Bangalore, Dr. Lal Krishna from IVRA, Mulli Manohar from Chennai, then me and Dr. Tripathi presently his president. So these were the secretary of Professor Iyer Monti Sesadri. Dr. Rajan, Dr. Gowda, Dr. V.K. Gupta, Anil Kumar, Balachandran. So these are uh, presently KP Singh. Is this. this is present team of IABP, Dr. Tripathi President, Dr. D.V. Joshi, S.K. Nagar, Vice President, Dr. Amarji Singh, uh, Gadwasu, Vice President, Dr. K.P. Singh, Secretary, Dr. M.R. Reddy, Hyderabad, he is the um, editor, Dr. Pavan Kumar, Division of Pathology, is the treasurer, Dr. Me. I am a web manager. So this is about journal. 76 Professor a year was founder editor. In ACL, journally was published one issue per year. Then after enduring the period of Dr. M. C. Prasad, he started two issues per year. And when Dr. Pavoya took as a editor in 2014, this now four issues are coming. And NAS impact factor of journal is about 5.54. So this is the list of editors, Professor Ayer, Chauhan, Mahanti, Dr. Pariyar, Dr. Prasad, Dr. Divedi, Dr. Chauhan, Dr. Party, Dr. K.P. Singh, Dr. Pavia, and now M.R. Reddy. These below are the editor. So editor means he, he spent a lot of time in journal. His all other activities, research, all other activities are affected. Then only our papers are published. So editors, they get a lot of regards because they work very hard so these were the 38 conferences organized in different places out of all places bangalore ajat nagar chennai and these were the or kerala these were the places or sardar kashi nagar or anand these were the places conferences were organized more than a, one time so these were the active places. So a very recent conference, it was organized by Dr. Raj Kova at uh, Ajwal, Vijay Patel at Gujarat, Narayan Swami at Bangalore, Ghosh, Chhattisgarh, Rama Devi at Gannavaram, Prajapati, two times he was secretary, Dr. Panda, then A.T. Rao also organized at both this thing, Isar. So like that, so many people, they organized Assam, Dr. Barwa, Dr. Sood, Dr. Rajendra Singh, Dr. Sri Lata, so many people they were. Dr. Mukopadhyay at Calcutta. So these were 
story of 37 and 38 conference it will have at last. So IAVP, it has started six groups of award, six groups of 32 awards. For young scientists, there are three awards, poster presentation, three awards, journal, four awards, postgraduate thesis, four awards, two for MBSC thesis, two for PhD thesis, then achievement award, six awards, then we started one award for the best teacher in veterinary pathology, and <laughs> woman veterinary pathologist award, then IAVP fellow, fellowship award. So besides that, there are certain specific, Dr. P.P. P. Gupta Oresan, veterinary pathology, congress, thematic lecture, so like that. And some of the awards are sponsored now. If someone contributes, if some veterinarian, veterinary pathologist is contributing to peace, one lakh to association, then one award can be started. So there are 57, 58 people who have, who have got the fellowship. Actually, these 58 names, actually, they their contribution was very highly significant because a very person who gets award they are on the IAVB fellowship because then his contribution is the best so that those people they get so but many people even they are best but they have not applied so they have not received the award or they have been not nominated so this is the 38 and this tells the history of association also then more than eight, ten students, Dr. Aran Sarma, Dr. Singhet Giri, Pavaya, S. Gunalan, Dolkar, Pillai, B.K. Sina, Rajiv Ranjan, Senthil Kumar, they got this Jawala Nehru Award. And besides this, uh, four, uh, six pathologists, Dr. M.S. Quatra from Ludhiana, Lal Krishna, Dr. A.T. Rao, Dr. P.P. Gupta, R.V. Rai and B.N. Tripathi, they got NOS, NOS Fellowship. Getting NOS Fellowship, it is not that easy, especially for the health, health people. So this is also big credit. And besides that, there are some other awards also I'm not going to talk. I got National Fellow Award, Dr. Chauhan got National Fellow Awards, and many other awards that we are not discussing. Then, beside this, now I'm coming on the history of uh, Indian College of Veterinary Pathologists. Presently, ICVP is having 50, uh, around say more than 51 diplomates and six charter and 16 charter members and diplomates. This college it conducts a diploma examination in veterinary pathology. And uh, for that, one has to give six. Uh, papers, theory papers, or including some practical papers also. So the board examination test candidates aptitude to practice veterinary pathology as a profession. So syllabus for diploma examination, it contains farm animal, companion animal, avian, laboratory animal, experimental and toxicological, wild animal and non-mammalian avian species pathology. So Dr. Lal Krishna was the founder president of this and Dr. V.K. Gupta was the founder secretary and Dr. Anil, Anil Kumar, TV Anil Kumar from uh, Srivendram, he was founder chairman uh, of the examination committee. So due to efforts of Dr. V.K. Gupta, Dr. Anil Kumar, Dr. Anil Krishna, this ICVP, this college was founded. Then besides that, uh, in ICVP, I am telling in very briefly, uh, this Society of Toxicologic Pathology or STPI, this was established in Bangalore by Dr. S.J. Sasadri in March 2004. So this society it also, it is having 250 members and this conducts uh, Industrial toxicopathology through conferences, seminar, workshop, board certificate examination. Presently, Dr. Madhav Maratha is president and Dr. M. R. Balaji is the general secretary. And it also conducts board certification examination to accredit suitable person for the diploma of Indian Board of Toxicopathology. Actually, this I used to tell, and they also published this newsletter, Toxopath. So 
and then beside this there is another society society for immunology and immunopathology dr arash chavan he was the founder secretary of this society so presently i am not and it was established in 1998 at college of veterinary science at pandnagar and it publishes journal of immunology and uh, journal of immunology immunopathology biannual in from 1990 onwards so mostly the people interested in immunopathology immunology they can go so my next question is who was founder president of indian association of veterinary pathologist dr b s rajya dr m krishna nayar dr s damodaran dr h s sadri so this is this question so i will be talking about little bit about the uh, profile of uh, or just uh, mentioning name and with very big contribution by your dr s c datta dr sachidanand datta he was the first indian director of ivra he did the see from university of edinburgh on injotic bovine hematuria and his area of material was from darjeeling and other places so besides uh, ebh he worked on some other problems like uh, barsati like entropics nasal granuloma and chronic hepatitis he discovered cystosoma nasalis established it as a cause of nasal granuloma an important disease he discovered that cystosoma indicum the cause of liver disorder in horses he discovered cystosoma cause of lycanthropics in horses he reported first time in utic him encephalitis and contagious ectymia in goats so this was the contribution of dr s c datta he was students of uh, presidency college calcutta uh, one of my friend dr j c viswas who was working within mukti sir used to tell about that presidency college and this thing and dr datta he was first indian director and ivri is in his honor ivri is having one guest house international this guest house dr datta guest house that is the best guest house in ivri then prk here he he was the father of my professor professor p p k r here he worked uh, with famous pathologists like hugh cooper and j t edwards he diagnosed tuberculosis in goats he prepared artificial zoonin and experimental experimented on animals with good results and one thing very interesting dr p r k r was invited to deliver a lecture on significance of differential leukosis count leukocyte count in front of viceroy of india lord linith go and ministers of punjab you you can see in 19 3040 what was the importance of differential leukocyte count ki that one pathologist veterinary pathologist is being invited he will talking in front of viceroy of india about importance of differential leukocyte count then dr g l sharma he did license of veterinary practice from lahore ms phd from michigan state university usa he was principal come joint director at ivri he did lot many things including conducted research on equine virus abortion zygjecty arteriosclerosis contagious eclectic vaccine he, he developed vaccine against this contag- contagious caprine pneumonia He established tissue culture laboratory at Mukteswar. So you know that tissue culture laboratory, it is the life of virologist virology, Mukteswar, mm-hmm. which resulted in increase of multi-fold production of polydent FMD vaccine. He was author of one book entitled "Exotic Diseases of Diseases of Livestock, Including Poultry," along with Dr. S. S. K. Raman. I was a student. we were referring to this book very quite frequently everybody was having this book those days and then dr c m singh this year we are on 30th number we are starting its birth uh, birth centenary year celebrations 
he graduated from patna veterinary college ms phd from uh, usa he was awarded doctor of science degree on this casa from four universities he was professor of pathology at mathura dean hisar dean agra he isolated new strains of salmonella and gave him name them as salmonella brajbhumi salmonella mathura salmonella bareilly salmonella gokul and so many things he worked on avian mycoplasmosis lymphosarcoma and leukemia in indian buffalo he was the youngest director of ivri founder president of veterinary council of india and national academy of veterinary science he is modern architect of ivri and division of pathology then dr damodaran he was gmbc and bvsc from madras veterinary college msc pathology from ivri in 1954 so he was reader professor head in department of pathology he was first to identify zygzacti hypertrophic gastritis and rheumatoid disease in india his research included bovine reproductive pathology he was founder president of iavp in his honor iavp is having one uh, best paper award in animal cancers in in name of dr damodaran dr rajia he was phd in fast cvs from sweden phd he was he did under dr cm singh pathology professor and head of veterinary college mathura emeritus professor joint director and official thing director ivri who was president iibp for twice under his leadership the fcda seminar was organized at division of pathology he was the best necropsist i have not seen such a person just he will ask some questions and you you narrate the thing then he will tell the further more details he gave present uh, organizational setup to the division He worked on Zygzacti, Medi, Vishna, Marek disease, Chlamydiosis, Mycoplasmosis, IBR, Paratuberculosis, Cough, Mortality, etc. He got national and international recognition. Then Dr. S. Ramachandran. He was DBSM from Manchester University, UK. PhD from Edinburgh. He got advanced training in different academic institutions. He is recipient of many fellowships and awards. He was visiting fellow in Bangladesh. He was research fellow and virologist under the UN program. Visiting professor at Tanwas. Welcome foundator UK. He was project director of Rinder project in India. He had interest in Rinder pest, poultry disease, equine disease, tropical animal health. so he was visiting our pathology conference we have used to have interaction with him and on him uh, one biography was written letters by thousand by g r scott g r scott was one of the very top worker in the rinder pest he was quite frequently visiting india so he is p k r i r professor ramchandran he was my professor i did mbs under his guidance he was mr cvs from uk assistant professor at veterinary college mathura professor head division of pathology at ivri dean faculty of animal science agra and royal khan university so he had a, he did a special investigation on methyl isocyanate poisoning as a landmark go, go. so he was getting this tissue from bhopal uh, after this mic poisoning investigating it his special interest was in oncopathology neuropathology mycopathology He reported rare cases of mammary tumors in buffalo and goat, and published these papers in veterinary pathology. He published one very good international paper on green algae infection in sheep brain. Turpentine oil as a clearing agent. He was one of this one of the, and beside this this modified PS technique, It was very good uh, histopathology in, inter interpreter of slides. The professor Nair. He was a pharmacist and PhD from Royal Veterinary College, Stockholm, Sweden. He's professor of College of Veterinary Science, Manuti. He was dean at Trishur. Director of coordination for Kerala Agriculture Institute, Trishur. His field of specialization was electron microscopy, mycotoxicology, poultry pathology. He was president of IABP. He was very active. Presently, he resides in USA. 
and dr g s mohanty was my phd guide mbsc phd from mbsc under dr c m singh and phd from kansas university usa he was awarded dsc by cst kanpur he was a joint direct joined as poultry pathologist professor of poultry pathology at even disease division was joint director academic joint director high security animal research lab bhopal he officiated as director ivri also he worked on malaria disease avian encephalomyelitis infectious bronchitis ibd eds duct viral disease and used fat for first time in india that was his contribution during his time we had very good fat labs plots and antibody technique labs he was deported by government of india as a poultry expert in iraq he was instrumental in planning and establishing high security presently dr monty resides at puri after his super renovation then dr vegat is known for his books uh, in veterinary pathology especially this general pathology systemic pathology special pathology pathology of poultry diseases he did phd from new zealand he was one of very excellent orator he was professor head pathology at jabalpur dean jabalpur president of iavp for three tenures he was visiting professor at university of california davis this nc jain who authored the hematology book we was very quite close friend to him he was actually working on the basic aspects of avian inflammation inflammation and sheep and chicken so his three students got this jawahar nar in nehru award for the best this is dr vegat he himself got rafi ahmed ki dubai award so his papers were published in british american and new zealand journals so he is known for his books very nice person his stays in bhopal dr rajan he was mbsc from madras botany college phd from bangalore so he was head department of veterinary pathology he re- retired as a dean after 30 years of service he was first dr rajan was first director of center of excellence in veterinary pathology in 1987 and director of center of advanced studies in veterinary pathology he guided several msc phd students his special area of interest a uh, was it mydal carcinoma and mycotoxins they did excellent work on in this area then professor at rao he was from uh, did phd from hisar he was professor head at veterinary college he was a student of professor pk ramchandran ayer msc student conducted systemic pathological research on various species of captive wildlife so published good number of papers he nas fellow very few people got nas fellowship so he got several awards gold medals this thing and he authored books on the wildlife luminant very recently i passed these three to these three two books to wildlife center in ivri he stays in uh, bhuneswar then last one dr p p gupta he he did mbsc uh, from ivri under pkr ir and phd from all india institute of medical sciences and also a farsi based from sweden he was research officer at icmr then he become uh, professor head uh, veterinary pathology and additional doctor uh, director research at gadwasu He is recipient of good number of awards. So many awards he got. He is having Rafi Ahmed ki dwai and so many awards he got. Nas Doctor P Bhatta Charya Nas Fellowship. His area of research includes pathology of cardiovascular, respiratory, genital, mycoplasmosis, mycotic disease. So like that, very significant contribution. And then dr gowda he was professor head department of pathology veterinary college havel us bangalore he was secretary and president iap director institute of animal health at bangalore first veterinary pathologist to become vice chancellor of 
any university in India, any veterinary university in India, is imminent, imminent veterinary pathologies identified viruses as a new cause of hydropyricardium, so or leachy disease. Study pathology signals of equine infectious anemia, reemergence of IBR, the guided number of MBSCP. During his tenure, Southern State Regional Diagnosis diagnosis were established. So it stays in Bangalore. Besides this, there is a number of other pathologies, list of other pathologies you want to see their names. So I try to do that, but this list is to be updated. If you can suggest some, and here actually I am included, I have included beta and imminent pathologies, not pathologies after this uh, 2020, uh, 2000. So history is always written. You live 20 years of current era. So, and Dr. S.P. Garg, uh, he's having on vaccine, this company, he's industrialist pathologist. Very few people know. Then, Dr. Uh, Gowda, he was the first vice chancellor, then Dr. Bala Chandran, Dr. Narayan Swami. So these three pathologists, they, they have become vice chancellor. Then Dr. Dhyan Tripathi, one time he was working in division of pathology. He, under, when I was head of division, he was senior scientist. So, so brilliant chap that he has become deputy director general in animal science. Presently, he's president of IABP. He was director in NRC Quine also, and he, during his directorship, he got best institute award from the Prime Minister of Industry, Narendra Modi ji. <coughs> so these two people, Dr. M. C. Prasad and Dr. Lal Krishna, they were selected as assistant director general of IV. They both they belong to division of pathology. Presently, Dr. E, Dr. Prasad he was associated with. J Research Foundation and also with some veterinary colleges of Gujarat and he were, did a lot of work on toxicopathology also. Dr. Lal Krishna, he also worked in Palampur, IBRI Center Palampur. These were three people, Dr. Sachidanand Dutta, he was first Indian director. Dr. P.G. Ponte, he, he was director. Dr. C.M. Singh was director. So these were three people for director of IVRI pathologies, all pathologies. Dr. Rajya, Dr. Mohanti, Dr. Name Singh, they are acting directors of IVRI. Then Dr. D.L. Sarma, he was principal come joint director. And Dr. B. J. L. Sarma and Dr. B.S. Raja, they were principal come, come joint director. Those days, IVRI used to have only one joint director, not four or five like we are now. We are in. So, Dr. Monti, Dr. S. K. Pradhan, he died last year due to COVID, and they were the joint director of High Security Animal Disease Lab, Gopal. Dr. Gopal Krishna, as Gopal Krishna, he he was a student of Dr. Monti, poultry pathologist. So he was working in, uh, he officiated uh, IVRI, Joint Director Bangalore for more than five years, but he was not selected. He, then Joint Director Research, Dr. Prasad was Joint Director Research, Dr. Neem Singh was Joint Director Research, and presently Head Division of Pathology, Dr. Sai Kumar, he is officiating as Joint Director Research. Then Joint Director Academic, Dr. Mohanti was Joint Director, first Joint Director Academic, and Dr. Name Singh also, he officiated as Joint Director Academic. Then these are the Joint Director Kadrad. I have shown this slide you earlier also. So here is the list of what pioneer work is done. Dr. Vega, this list is Dr. Vega, avian inflammation, Dr. Mohanty, inflammation in quail. So Dr. Nair, Sastri, Damodaran. So, I have already told their PKR here, memory cancer, Dr. Nandi, SN Nandi Ram Kumar, chemical carcinogenesis, Dr. CM Singh, bovine lymphosarcoma, Rajya Mohanty, Marek's disease, RK Pal Gupta, R. Somansi, bovine harm cancer, Rajan, Ithmidal carcinoma, Dr. Sajiranandatta, urinary cancer or EBH. 
so dr mc prasad cardiovascular disease and presenting toxicosis pkr ir mic poisoning mycopathology sc mukherjee cases or fish pathology hk pradhan bird flu and many other portrait p divedi acrotoxicosis then me fern toxicity live animal diseases name see molecular pathogenesis uh, in immunopathology are paratypology name seeing polyval and vientrapathy in s parihar at raw and ak sarma wildlife pathology many more uh, on wildlife pathology chavan immunopathology are pesticide dr sai kumar pmws sarco parvo dr lal krishna peri natal mortality in lyme kids rajender singh neuropathology dr nk sud si wala chandan cytopathology immunohistochemistry and diagnosis of canine memory cancer blue tongue dr k p singh ravi dr rajan singh c k singh molecular pathogen and diagnosis wildlife disease a k sharma now this a k srivastava from jabalpur a chakravarti wildlife disease so this list actually it was prepared about say quite uh, earlier and this this need to be updated so now mcqp of this section is name a indian veterinary pathologist who was appointed first vice chancellor of a veterinary university dr gowda dr balachandran dr narayan swami dr b n tripathi just few minutes before i told who was the first vice chancellor so beside this in our pathologies they have written number of books also so here you can find list of some books uh, books written by this uh, gadwasu pathologies it is already given separately in when i was discussing about the department of uh, pathology at gadwasu so contagious caprine fluoro pneumonia prkir exo disease of livestock and poultry kheda and gl sharma ibd gc mohanty veterinary pathology various books by g s hasri necropsy technique by vk sinha and uh, different text books by vegard katyar veterinary pathology books by chavhan veterinary immunopathology by rs chavhan and vn tripathi then immunopathology can knowledge called techniques in diagnostic pathology by dr vn tripathi then laboratory manuals then color atlas of gross specimens by mona lisa bharti dasan and me necropsy technique and necropsy conference manual there are several books hundred more many number of books written by veterinary pathologists so this list is also not complete it is to be updated so i am coming on the last part of my lecture so veterinary pathology actually it is a backbone of veterinary science as regard understanding of pathogenesis of diseases of disease research and its diagnosis is concerned it was a part of discipline of backology in before 1960 at imperial backological laboratory and certain veterinary colleges up to 1970 in post independent la veterinary pathologies laid a strong foundation of discipline at mukteswar and elsewhere different part of country independent division of pathology was established in 1963 at ivri ayatnagar followed by separate department of pathology in different colleges dr cm singh who obtained ms phd from east lansing usa initiated research in, in infectious diseases and poultry disease is a veterinary college mathura a number of faculty members of state agriculture universities went to usa to obtain ms and phd in veterinary pathology and five few went to uk sector under common wealth scheme before this people were going for mrcvs but after this agriculture university started then a trend in education changed During 1960 to 90, 50 Indian veterinary pathology they went to Stockholm, Uppsala for nine months diploma courses, or they got FRCBS. 
They learn systemic necropsy technique, quality histopathological interpretations. In 1976, Division of Pathology at IVRI, it took modern shape. When it was shifted to modern laboratory building, then division got more space and it progressed under leadership of Dr. Rajya, Dr. Professor Ayer, G.C. Mohanty. Then IAP was established in 1974. Indian General of Veterinary Pathology was started in 76, which revolutionized the achievement of veterinary pathology discipline. IVAP so far had conducted 38 conferences. 38 conferences it held in the next month. This helped in strengthening discipline of veterinary pathology. Till 1970-90, people were working on slaughterhouse material, on farm material. They were studying etiopathology, pathogenesis, and pathology of diseases using conventional methods, and it helped in their early diagnosis and prevention. At IVRA and different veterinary colleges under SAUs, contributions of few pathologists like Dr. Rajya, Professor Ayer, G.C. Mohanty, Dr. Damodaran, Dr. Nair, P.P. Gupta, Rajan A.T. Rao, J.L. Vegat, R.N.S. Gowda, Lal Krishna, M.C. Prasad, and there are many more in this list, where it is highly appreciable. After 1990, various molecular tools like PCR, FACS, electron microscopy, immunohistochemistry, they were used for the study of infectious, non-infectious diseases and animal cancers. ICBP was established in 2008 to strengthen the practice of veterinary pathology. In the trainees of pathology discipline and they are present in this group. I request that please uh, think about appearing this ICBP examination. You will be uh, your subject discipline subject will be refreshed and you will be having additional qualification which will be helpful in your career advancement. During this period, number of our young pathologists they got uh, this. ICR Java best uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Award for best PhD thesis, and they have also gone abroad for higher studies and as PDF also, and they are in very good position. These days, when we are organizing these our conferences, then we are identifying our students, and they are uh, delivering very good lectures. Many are this uh, diplomat ACB. ACBP and veterinary pathologists got reward of hard work as they were selected on research monitoring positions like DDG, Animal Science, Vice Chancellor of Veterinary University, Assistant Director General Animal in ICR, Directors of ICR Institute. Deans of veterinary colleges, director of research in the state agriculture universities, and in many other positions. These veterinary pathologists, they were not lagging behind when country was facing this COVID problem, COVID endemic problem. So at that time, in many places, veterinary pathologists were, they joined the medical people and other people for the diagnosis of COVID-19. So need of the day is starting residency program and international collaborative researches, which should result in the high quality research publications. In nutshell, history of veterinary pathology is not it is veterinary pathology is yet unwritten. It had a glorious past and will have a wonderful future provided our colleagues work hard for advancement of discipline and uplifting national economy. My request to veterinary pathologists is that when you identify this research problem for your students, you can, you, you do this PCR and uh, try to do ma many other molecular tools, but don't forget about the necropsy or uh, necropsy examination or histopathology because these are too old, uh, but they are gold as regard. And, the, and uh, you cannot learn the basics of pathology if you are not paying attention on the necropsy technique as well as 
on the histopathological in, in, interpretation you try to pay more attention on ultra structural pathology and immuno histochemistry which you are already doing so this is in brief what i suggest that pathology had gold future uh, bright future it, it 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 was having very golden history and future will de depend on us how we work so and as regard the train is from other discipline uh, what i suggest if our history of pathology if it helps in any way in your career advancement or in improving your discipline will be the most happy person so with this this remark now i conclude my lecture and uh, once again i thank nacdl as well as to dr patra and that you have given me an opportunity to um, not take this these two long lectures and uh, i also thank trainees that uh, that you have uh, listened my lecture carefully i don't know for how much you realized it but maybe it is a general information it is a not a it was not a hardcore lecture so i hope you have enjoyed thank you very much thank you so thank you very much sir for your kind information uh, kind presentation and you have taken a pain a lot pain at your age sir to deliver our glorious history now i request dr ponchosil who is the participant and assistant professor of department of veterinary medicine from karnataka bidar please ponchosil you give the vote of thanks to our thank department you, thank you sir thank you patra sir so a uh, very good afternoon to one and all so uh, it gives us an immense pleasure to know about uh, the history of veterinary pathology especially in india what you have covered so i personally have enjoyed a lot uh, this particular talk sir because we really uh, were not knowing all these uh, the eminent personality especially what you have uh, discussed various other activities the research activities and uh, most of the advanced pathological works what they have uh, conducted and what the achievements they have got so really uh, this was a very useful session and very informative session for all of us sir. all of us and all the uh, not only pathologists but all the veterinarians so at least we came to know that uh, what personalities uh, were there beyond uh, all these uh, what do you call the research works which are specially still going on in the uh, advancement of the uh, what do you call the veterinary pathology so on behalf of all the organizers and uh, the participants so i would like to extend my warm regards to uh professor uh, ramesh somanshi sir uh, the emirates uh, professor icr avr izzat nagar for delivering for presenting such a wonderful talk on uh, this particular uh, topic sir so thank you very much once again uh, from all from uh, on behalf of all the participants and organizers thank you thank you very much so uh, over to patra sir okay thank you dr ponchasil now it is the now it is the closed now the session is closed now okay we will meet at 2:30 thank okay. you thank you dr patra thank you yeah.